Hey everybody, Desert Guardian here, and today I'm going to talk to you about two new flavors from EDC Coffee Company. You may have seen my video before with uh, the standard medium roast EDC coffee, which my family just loves, but they've recently come out with a couple of new blends. Uh, the first one we're going to talk about is called the Cobra Coffee. And this is a medium roast, but it has a little bit of spice and a little bit of hazelnut in it. And they call it Cobra with a K. Uh, because it was actually an idea from uh, the owner of Cobra Kydex, a, a different company in the EDC world that makes holsters and such. Um, second one we're going to go over is called The Cure, which is another medium roast, but it's roasted a little bit less. And when you roast a coffee bean a little bit less roasting time, it actually has more caffeine. So this way you get a medium, not quite dark coffee, uh, but you have a lot of caffeine content, so there's a lot of people that struggle to wake up in the morning and need some caffeine, but they don't like that, you know, overly roasted, real dark bean. Um, you know, some people like light, some people like medium, some people like dark. This really appeals to the medium and light crowd, but has plenty of caffeine. So I'm going to get it prepped up. We're going to brew some of both so you can take a look at what they look like, and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, so while my instant tea kettle pot, electric pot, is warming up. I figured I'd show you a little bit of details on it. Now, the couple of tools I'm using for this is I have a, a, an instant hot water maker, a little electric pad it sits on. That's going to boil water here in just moments instead of actually having to heat it up on the stove. And then I have a little uh, four cup pour over coffee maker, which makes it quick and easy to make coffee in the morning. So this is the Cobra blend. Hopefully you can get a good look at that. And see how nice and dark that is. This one, like I said, was uh, 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 designed after suggestions from the owner of Cobra Kydex. And I'll have links down to, to EDC Coffee and Cobra Kydex underneath this when we're all done. But you can see it does have a little bit of a darker hue to it uh, and has the hazelnut and other spices in it. Uh, so that's going to be a, a nice, warm, flavorful coffee. And then we'll compare that to the Cure. So this is going to be the medium blend that's going to have a higher caffeine content due to a, uh, a shorter roasting time. So if we compare them side by side, you can see the Cure has a little bit less of a roast to it. It's a little bit lighter color, uh, where Cobra is a little bit of a darker. Uh, so I'm going to wait for the water to warm up, and we're going to make a cup of each so you can see what they look like inside the cup. Almost boiling. Hang tight. All right, so we got a little bit of frothy boiling going on here with the uh, the, the instant hot water pot. Uh, so first up, we're going to make the Cobra blend. So got a little of the coffee here. I'm going to put it in my pour over coffee maker here. Just drop that in. Gently pour that in. Let that steep a bit. And with boiling water, this is a really quick, easy way to make coffee. It's like cowboy style coffee. Just put the beans in, put hot water over it, and you're rocking and rolling. So, all right. Let that drip down a little bit, set it aside. It's going to steam up on me, but I can smell this already. Definitely has a nice uh, spicy blend to it with that hazelnut in it. So that is the Cobra. So I'm going to do a quick pause, rinse out my filter, and we'll make the Cure and put them side by side. All right, got the mesh filter rinsed out, so let's try the Cure. Like I said, this is more of a medium to light roast but the lighter roasting actually makes an increased caffeine amount, which is great for all those people who can't wake up in the morning. All right, let that steep down, get it into a glass and we'll take a look. So this one I can smell also. This definitely has more of a classic coffee smell to it. It doesn't have the spice that the Cobra has in it. 
Uh, but if you go to the grocery store, everywhere you look, you see a creamer or an additive or something, and they all have the hazelnut and the spices and things like that. So this is going to be this is going to be for the people who who want a little bit of spice. We're talking about the cobra again, who want a little bit of spice but don't want to add a bunch of additives and sugars and and milk and things like that to their coffee. Um, hey, if you want to, that's your choice. I'm just making them black so you can see what they look like. I wish you could smell what they smell like because it smells awesome in here right now. But, you know, unfortunately because of the modern miracle of YouTube slash television slash internet, there is no smell available. So, all right, looks like our cure is almost steep down. It's a little bit finer grind on it, so it takes a little bit more time. But time is something we have. All right, so let's give that a little shake here. Set it aside. And this is the cure. So this one has a bit more caffeine in it, mainly due to the roasting process. Smells like an amazing standard black coffee. If you want to compare them side by side, hopefully you can see, but Cobra Blend is a little bit darker, just in color, uh, and that's going to be because of the roasting process, because of the, the, uh, the hazelnut flavoring, the spices in it, things like that. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to give both of these a sip and let you know what I think. All right, so I took a sip of each one of them. Um, I got to say, they taste like amazing coffee. The Cobra Blend which is the hazelnut, was the first one I took a sip of. And I took a sip, and it tasted kind of mellow, kind of, you know, definitely had a good coffee flavor to it, but had a little bit of hints of spice and hazelnut to it, nice little mellow flavor to that. Uh, that's something that I could drink black every single day, never have to add any sugar or any additives or anything like that. It's a nice, mellow, easy to drink coffee. Uh, the Cure, first sip of that, definitely had a little bit more of a kick to it. It wasn't a bitter or a burnt kick at all, but you could tell it had more of that coffee flavor to it. Um, definitely a nice, mellow, smooth coffee, but I took the first sip of this one and thought, it tastes like coffee. Took a sip of that one and said, that really tastes like coffee. So, <laughs> you know, um, depends on your personal preference. I would recommend grabbing a bag of each of them from EDC Coffee Company and trying them out. Uh, the Cobra blend is not overly hazelnut or overly spiced. There's a lot of, you can go pick up a custom coffee somewhere and spend $12 on it and it'll be a hazelnut coffee and all you taste is nuts and spices and, and, and you don't actually taste coffee. This hack actually has a really nice coffee flavor to it. Um, like I said, not bitter, not overbearing, but very smooth. Uh, the Cure, same thing. Definitely more of a coffee taste, but not bitter. Goes down smooth and we like that it has that extra caffeine content. So that's your wake us up coffee. Um, and either one of them, you know, we're coming into fall, grab a cup, go sit out on the front porch where it's nice and cool with your robe on in the morning and have a great cup of EDC coffee. So that's my, uh, my quick rundown on the two new flavors from EDC coffee. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can on them, but definitely check them out. I'm gonna put some links to EDC coffee company right underneath the video, check them out get in on this. Uh, this is the latest of four flavors that they have. They have a, a, a light roast, a dark roast, or sorry, a medium, a dark, and then of course the Cure and the Cobra blend. So check them out at EDC Coffee Company uh, and hit that subscribe button. Uh, I'll be putting up all kinds of different reviews and quick looks of gear and, well, sometimes coffee. Uh, so like I said, questions, comments, concerns, leave them below. That's it for now. Desert Guardian, out.